Liberty at UConn. That's right. Uh, and we just got news, of course, that Day Day Hunter will be out uh, for the rest of the season. It looks like he's going to be out for like six months. Uh, just a strange injury that he's got. I think it's an LCL tear or LCL, whatever it is. Uh, we hope for a speedy recovery because he is a dynamic playmaker. But UConn is a 14.5 point home dog. The total sits at 45 at 12 p.m. Eastern time on CBS Sports Network on Saturday. This is uh, this is interesting. Very interesting here. Let's go on and, and pull up the numbers here uh, so that we can get into the actual stats. Uh, my numbers all week have liked UConn in this game. It, and this, of course, is the stats over the last five weeks. At Liberty defense has has really stood up and done some pretty amazing things here. Liberty is 16-5 and five against the spread after a straight-up win in their last 21. UConn is 5-1 and one against the spread in their last six at home. They are 6-0 and oh against the spread in their last six overall. The number on this, uh, that total being 45 with a spread of 14.5, you're looking at a team total for UConn of around 15.5, and, and you're looking at a team total for Liberty around 29.5. And, and when I look at these numbers, um, I am a little less convinced that Liberty will be able to just blow right through these guys, right? They are. This is a perfect letdown spot, and maybe the biggest win that they've had uh, in program history with the win at Arkansas last week. You know, first win over an SEC team, et cetera, but now you lose your, your big playmaker running back. The defense, like I said, has been really, really good. But you look at that rushing explosiveness metric, number 106 for that Liberty defense. While they are really good as far as success rate, number 13, and PPA per rush, number 26, that UConn offense loves to run the football. They run it 65% of the time. Liberty only defends it 44% of the time. At number 13 PPA per rush for UConn's offense, number 13 in rushing explosiveness. Uh, they are really good as far as offensive line yards and stuff rate. I know the Liberty defense has been great over the last five weeks, but UConn can really put some pressure on them. UConn's not going to throw the football. They only throw it like 33% of the time right now. Uh, you look at Liberty on offense, there's nothing that really stands out here. Uh, passing success rate is number 62. Rushing success, number 45. They're they're just good, right? It's, it's just a fairly efficient offense. They're not uh, great as far as running the ball. Jonathan Bennett has been a... Uh, a great surprise for this bunch. Uh, but in a game like this where you've got the letdown and this has turned into a really, really big game for UConn because they are trying to get bowl eligible, I I have to roll UConn plus the 14.5 here. I think it's going to be a little bit lower scoring. My number is 44.84. I, I mean, it's right on the number 45. I would have to take an under here. Um, but I think that UConn can keep this thing close because I think they can keep the ball away from Liberty. So I would expect them to do that. Give me UConn plus the 14 and a half here. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.